Hi, this is Aprajita from Avaya Serviceability Engineering team. In this video, we will see how to update host name changes for Avaya or an experience portal in its database. We will be talking only about single box setup here. And to achieve this, we will be using one of the scripts provided by experience portal software. There are a couple of things we need to know before starting this exercise. Avaya or Experience Portal 6.0 software is installed successfully on the server. As we already spoke, this is a single box setup and steps will vary for a multi box setup configuration. There is already a Postgres database configured for Avaya or Experience Portal and its name is Voice Portal and is accessible using Postgres user. And the current host name of the system is new name, which we will be modifying in our exercise going forward. Let us log into command line access of Experience Portal Manager, first with root privileges. Once there, Log in with Postgres user by giving command su-postgres. On the bash prompt, issue a command saying psql to get Postgres prompt. Now we have to connect to voice portal database by issuing command slash connect voice portal. In the output, it says that you are now connected to the database called voice portal. Now let's verify the hostname information in the voice portal database by issuing this query select star from SD host table. This table contains the host name information about experience portal server. So if you look at the output here, it shows host ID, version, description, type, name and under name it says new name. So new name is the host name of our experience portal server right now. So let's log out from here. Now let's try to modify the host name of experience portal server. Open network file residing under slash etc slash sysconfig in vi editor. Here we have a host name information. So modify this host name with a new host name called epm server and save the changes by issuing colon wq and close the file. Now verify the changes by issuing command cat slash etc slash sysconfig slash network. The hostname information is changed in network file. Now open etc slash hosts file in vi editor. Here also update the hostname information with the same hostname EPM server and save the changes by issuing colon WQ. Once changes are saved, just reboot the system by issuing command shutdown hyphen R now. So it broadcasts a message on the screen saying that system is going down for a reboot. And our remote connection is lost. After some time one system comes up, log in again with root privileges. If you look here, our hostname has been changed to EPM server. Now check VPMS service status by issuing command service VPMS status. It says that the overall status of VPMS service is running. Now we will verify hostname information in hosts file by issuing command cat slash etc slash hosts and then run command cat slash etc slash sysconfig slash network. If you look at the output of both the commands, EPM server is the new hostname of the system. We can verify the hostname of the system by using hostname utility as well. So if we issue hostname hyphen s, 
it returns as the host name of the server. And if we issue host name hyphen i, it returns as the IP address of the server. After verifying the host name changes, post reboot of the server on the experience portal manager, our next step is to check the host name information available in the database. And for doing that, let's log in with Postgres user. Issue PSQL here. Now let's try to connect to voice portal database by issuing command slash connect voice portal. It says you are connected to the database now. So run a query saying select star from SD host. It will not commit till the time you give a semicolon. So if you look at the output here, it still shows the older host name of the server which was new name. So let's try to modify this now. Log out Postgres user first. Now stop the VPMS service on the system by issuing command service VPMS stop. This will stop all the individual components associated with VPMS service. Once VPMS shutdown status comes out OK, we have to go to dollar avaya home directory on the system by issuing command cd dollar avaya home where dollar avaya home is nothing but an environment variable pointing to the parent directory of experience portal software now change directory to support slash update host address if you list here there are a couple of scripts residing under this we will be using do update host script here. So run this script by dot slash do update host. After hitting enter, if you look at the output here, it checks for the EPM state which is already stopped and then it tries to update the host address in the database. So when it sees that EPM server is the new host name which we want to update from the older one which is new name, it asks us for a confirmation. If we want to use this new address, enter 1 for yes. So now it says that it has updated EPM server as the hostname information in the database. And after doing that, it validates and updates the CS properties. Then host address update procedure is completed. As this operation requires a restart of EPM service, this script automatically starts the EPM service on the system. Once the EPM service is restarted, it tries to stop and start the MPP service followed by the app server restart. Once all the services are restarted, our update host address operation has been completed successfully. Now let us verify again by logging into the database and checking the updated hostname information there. So log in with Postgres user by giving command su hyphen Postgres. Type PSQL here. Now connect to voice portal database by using the same command slash connect voice portal. Once connected, run a query saying select star from SD host table. Now when we look at the output of this query, we can see the hostname information has been updated as EPM server here. And this completes our demonstration. I hope this information was helpful. Thank you for watching. For any questions, comments or feedback, please write to mentor at avaya.com or follow us on Twitter at avaya mentor. Thank you for choosing avaya.